Man, I'm glad it's Friday. I'm glad it's Friday. Yeah, I feel good. Summertime, you just want to get out. You just want to do yeah. all those summertime things. You watch the, the baseball? Sun. Oh, yeah. I you go to the baseball, baseball games? Out. Yeah, we went to a game together last We went time. to a Mets game yeah, together, Mets actually. Game. Well, that's yeah. funny you should say that, because I've always been a big baseball fan. Yeah. You know, uh, the old ball and stick. Rounders, as we called it uh -huh. when I was a lad. <laughs> But to make sure that baseball remains America's pastime, the Major League Baseball has introduced new rules to increase the speed of play and attract new fans. They've limited the number of mound visits, they've required batters to stay in the box, and they have finally neutered the Philly fanatic. <laughs> but there are still more innovations I like to see in the game, so I visited the New York Mets to take a swing at pitching them some idea. Balls. <laughs> Jim? Being a fan of the game, I trekked to City Field to talk to the New York Mets about some of these issues and to pitch some ideas of my own. Now, MLB wants to increase the pace of play in the game, all right? They've got some ideas on how to do that. Mm -hmm. Hope you and I can figure out some ideas today to get the millennials, the Snapchats, Without the Snapchat generations, the people who want to gram the game as much as they want to watch the game. You ready to do Without it? Without doubt, let's try it. Okay, here's an idea. At bat, have a left-handed and a right-handed batter at the same time, swinging from both sides of the plate. Wow. That way, they got the whole strike zone covered. So what happens if they both swing at the same time? Someone gets hurt. <laughs> With the new pace of play they want here, they're only allowing six visits to the mound. You know that, right? That's correct. We're aware. So we've got to make every single one of these mound visits count. Do you understand? I agree. It needs to count out there. It needs to count in here. Okay, Kevin, I want you to tell Jerry how you feel about the way he's pitching. I think you're, you're throwing the ball great, but there's a lot of room for improvement. Okay, and Jerry, how does that make you feel? He just said, you're not good. I like that he started off positive, but it felt like he went deep with we could do better. You're hiding a lot of pain right now. Okay, shh, 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 don't. Don't cover your pain with laughter. The runner can choose to go from second straight to home, but he has to fight the pitcher all right, well, to get all the way to home, home plate. All right, that, I like the fighting part. I, I enjoy that. You know why there are nine innings? No, I don't. Originally, it was for the nine Supreme Court justices because the commissioner of baseball was Kennesaw Mountain Landis, who was a Supreme Court justice. Wow, all right. Yeah. Well, that makes sense then. Even though I made it up, yeah. it still makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> One ball has a black dot on it all season long. And if, you, if somebody hits the ball that has the black dot on it, everybody in the stands gets to beat him to death because it's bat night. This escalated very quickly. It did. All right. All right. Somebody's dropped a contact. Find it. Find the contact. Where is the contact? Lots of teams have fireworks to go off when there's a home run. Mm -hmm. Here's my idea. We still have the fireworks, but the fireworks cannons are pointed at the field, and they go off at random times. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. This that keeps everybody fun. aware, totally aware. Stay awake. Right. Yeah, yeah. Stay alert. Let's hug it out. Let's hug it out. All right. Let's hug it out. All right? Oh, all right, really, that's, that's really, good. Really that's good. All right. Yeah, that's all right. All right. You guys feel okay? I feel, I feel pretty good. All right, let's do some trust falls. <laughs> Squat. Your monkey's pooping. Everybody's pooping monkeys, okay? Now I understand you've got an idea. What is it? Yeah, I've always thought of this. One game on HBO every week, Sunday night game or whatever, have the commentator say whatever you want about the player, you know? F word, F bombs, all the, all the world, mic up everybody. And, anything uh, goes. Anything goes. You know, no fighting this? or nothing, but just. One uh, game a week on HBO, yeah. naked. <laughs> wow. Naked players, <laughs> naked players for one inning. For okay, one inning. you get to wear a helmet, yeah. and if you're batting, a cup. Yeah, well, right, that's, that's, that's it. That's fine. Damn. A lot of sunscreen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trust fall. <laughs> okay. All of this had me thinking bigger. What if baseball didn't need fixing? What if it just needed to be marketed to new television audiences? For example, millions of people love the CBS show Young Sheldon. I know TV. You guys are on TV. Yes. What do people on TV love? Younger versions of beloved characters. Say hello to young Todd All Frazier. Right, <laughs> What's up, man? Todd, young Todd. Todd nice to meet you, man. What's young Todd, fun? Todd. Pleasure. He's super intelligent, not great at baseball, but loves science. All right, well, 
-hmm. Close enough. We'll take that. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Young Sheldon on CBS? I have not. Okay. <laughs> My last pitch involved making baseball a little more sexy. Look, I want to keep this professional, and obviously I don't want to put you on the spot here, but you're a prime greased up slab of man meat. <laughs> Women want a man who will take over half of the chores at home. Prove to them you care, you've made cookies. Okay, show them the cookies. Here, you read a book, oh, wear glasses, seem smart. Oh. You're reading the book, and you're like, oh, hmm, I love That's Gail a, King's I new book. I love Gail King's new book. You don't have to say it, just act it. Look at the camera like you're using the puppy for date bait. Don't look at me, I'm not here. Just Hold look at the book, yeah. okay, blank, you're nothing, you're dead inside. Now you're reading the book, and it's filling you with light, and you're like, I love Gail King's book. If I were Oprah, I'd be her friend too. Now I'm sad. I was hurt like that too. But now, a message of hope. I know you hate cats, <laughs> no, no, but act know. like you like cats. Uh, all right, closer, closer to the face, Todd. All right, all right, all right. be kind. You're frightening the cat. I'm not trying all right. to. Be sexy, show me sexy. Before I said goodbye, there was one thing left for me to do. Thanks, awesome. man. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> we'll be right back.